What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Okay, if you're new to the channel, uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, it's about a 92 uh, Camaro, Chevrolet Camaro. It's 5.3 twin turbos. Our turbos are over there on the shelf. And right now that 5.3 is not in here. So despite everything that's going on, the issues I'm having with a six old block, it being cracked, it may still be good. We're debating on if we're gonna switch it out, get another block, uh, but right into it with no delay. I'm going to inspect my 5.3 because um, just straight up, I think my 5.3 got what it takes to lay the smack down on Demonology. Come April 9th. So, you know what I'm saying? I represent Texas right now, even though I'm from South Carolina. We are going to take these pistons out of this block. We're going to inspect it. Uh, we're going to look at the rings, see how they look. And we'll go from there. I may end up ordering another set of rings, just putting it back in here, throwing that 5.3 back in the, the car, and we'll worry about that 6 old later on. So, all right, let's get into it. And if you ain't subscribed already, man, go ahead and do the thing and hit that subscribe button for your LS content for this 93 of uh, 92 third gen Camaro. Let's get into it, man. Let's just be number one right here. Let's just pull this one out first, see what we're looking at. All right, take one of these off. Just giving it a little tap. If I go back on the other side, give it another little tap. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Them bearings look good as I don't know what. Said it was making 1300. Mm. Right. Think she looking good. Huh? All right, so here's that piston. Let's see the skirt is flaking off. That's what stuff that was in. Uh, my oil pan. And that one really flaked off. Man. So that thing was rocking in there a little bit. And that board may have been, might need to be checked. It shouldn't be rocking like that. But the piston was good, man. The rings. Uh, Pistons got some junk on them. Um, you know, I just need to inspect all of them. You can definitely see where one side had more burning on it right there than the other side. on the same rod or the same there we go there we go mm, let's see yeah this one don't look too bad either I think it's as to me that actually looks still as good I mean Got a little bit of wear on it. Man, yep, same thing with this piston too. It's probably been rocking in that board pretty good. Yeah. 
Baron kind of looked the same as the other one. Well, I got it out because just go ahead and put some new bearings in there. All right, so we got all the pistons out, and I think the crankshaft looks pretty good. If you guys can see down in there, need to wipe it off, clean it off, but the crankshaft looks good. What I am concerned about is, which is could be normal, is uh. How much that piston is rocking like because you can see the wear marks there and it looks like it's rocking a pretty good bit i mean that might be normal that one down there has a little more wear on it you know i would still send this because you can still see the hash marks and everything here's that side same eh. I mean, this could be from sitting a little bit more than two. You can still see the hash marks and everything in there. But they've definitely been rocking, which, you know, could be normal. Look how much paint's coming off. Well, not paint, but coating's coming off of there. That one. This is number eight. Look at that. That's almost gone. So... Yeah, that pickings, piston's been rocking a pretty good bit. I mean, they look good. They're nice and shiny. That looks good. Anything that's shiny look good, right? These people should probably give me a sponsorship, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I might just send it or, because that's what's getting, that what was, was getting all in the oil pan, man. So, man, I still might send it. I don't care. It ran fine like that for two years. Since I got it out, I'm probably going to put a set of piston rings in there and maybe bearings. All right. So, we are going to figure this out. And hopefully, by the time you see this, we're going to have something going. And uh, we'll see y'all next time, man. Don't forget to comment, like, and smash that subscribe button. All right? I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out when you like and comment down below. All right? So, you know, we got to get there. And we're definitely, definitely planning on gapping. If gapping demonology. Y'all have a good one. And come back now. You hear me?